I am here in Mauritius as part of my trip three oceans three islands I came here from Hawaii which was my first stop in the Pacific and Mauritius is stop number two in the Indian Ocean welcome at it's never too far away this video will be about arriving at and departing from the airport of Mauritius. Mauritius, of course, is a small island nation situated deep in the Indian Ocean. On final approach the whole island is crossed in a couple of minutes. The resident carrier at the airport is Air Mauritius. During a time more than 20 years ago I had visited the island a few times and back then it had an already much dated airport terminal. In 2013 the country opened an all new terminal which was designed after the Traveler's Palm, a locally resident tropical plant. Already now I can tell you that this airport terminal is a true jewel and it shows that the investment into such vital infrastructure for this kind of country is possible. And now let us arrive and step into the terminal. I have now arrived at Mauritius in the Indian Ocean after a pretty long trip from Hawaii which I enjoyed a lot. Now I'm at the airport arrivals area just in front of uh, passport control and you look through the window behind me. That's the view to the apron and the backdrop there, the mountains in the background you can even see the ocean. That is a nice a rivals hall, I will say. The official name of the airport is Sir Sevo Sagor Ramgolam International Airport, Plaisance. After a truly pleasant short wait for passport control, I head down to baggage claim and arrivals. Also this part of the terminal was created allowing for a good amount of space and applying attractive design. We all have to use them, so some words about the restrooms. They feature nice design too and they offer enough room and capacity. A couple of times there was no toilet paper, though. The arrivals hall has tour desks, a money changer and ground transportation, including a well-organized taxi desk. Here very transparent fares are shown, depending on which hotel area the guest needs to go to. The following afternoon I am already departing again. My third destination of this trip is calling. Iceland in the Atlantic Ocean. Also road side you can see the really nice architecture of this terminal.
Unsurprisingly, check-in and the public part of the departure hall are pleasant. The latest airport concept requires passengers to pass through massive duty-free shopping space when they head from security check and passport control into the departures area. No difference here. The departures area itself is actually quite narrow, with shops and restaurants on one side and the gates toward the apron on the other side. The main terminal is actually connected by a short passage to another building which features additional gates. Also this departures lounge is a nice place to depart from, but this area is lacking shops or restaurants. The view to the apron and to the single active runway is generally good from all places. One more thing that makes this airport special is the presence of some airliners that are very rare in most other parts of the world such as this Air Austral Airbus A220. On the other side wide bodies from various mainly European airlines are common visitors. Emirates often operate A380s on both of their two daily departures. Before heading to Dubai myself, I want to share some pictures from inside the airport lounge, which in my opinion is a very nice one. Then it is time to board the Super Jumbo. I close this video with takeoff. You can see how close the runway is to the beach and the lagoon inside the reef.